At a school concert, the total value of the tickets sold was $2,358. Student tickets sold for $6 each, and adult tickets sold for $9 each. The number of adult tickets sold was two less than three times the number of student tickets sold. How many student tickets and how many adult tickets were sold? Let's first write expressions for the number of student tickets and the number of adult tickets. Because we're told the number of adult tickets sold was two less than three times the number of student tickets sold, let's let the variable n represent the number of student tickets, which means the expression for the number of adult tickets is going to be two less than three times n. Well, two less than three times n would be three n minus two. Three n is three times the number of student tickets. Then to get two less, we subtract two. And now we'll determine the value of the student tickets and the value of the adult tickets, which we know has a total value of $2,358. Every student ticket costs six dollars, which means six times n represents the value of the student tickets sold. Every adult ticket costs nine dollars, so we would have plus nine times the number of adult tickets, which is the quantity three n minus two. This represents the total value of the tickets sold, which we know is equal to $2,358. If we solve this equation for n, we can determine the number of student and adult tickets sold. To solve the equation, the first step is to simplify the left side of the equation by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms. So we'll first distribute the nine. This gives us six n plus nine times three n is 27 n. And then nine times negative two is negative 18. Instead of writing plus negative 18, let's write minus 18 equals 2,358. And now we combine the like terms on the left side. 6n plus 27n is 33n, giving us 33n minus 18 equals 2,358. This equation is equivalent to this equation, but now the left side of the equation is simplified. Continuing, the next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. To isolate 33n, we need to undo the minus 18 by performing the opposite operation. The next step is add 18 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative 18 plus 18 is zero, which is why we added 18 to both sides of the equation. We now have 33n equals 2,358 plus 18 is equal to 2,376. The last step is to multiply or divide to solve for n. Because 33n means 33 times n, the next step is divide both sides by 33. Simplifying, 33 divided by 33 is one, one times n is n, we have n equals 2,376 divided by 33 is equal to 72. Now we know there were 72 student tickets sold because n equals 72, which means the number of adult tickets sold which is equal to three n minus two is three times 72 minus two, which is equal to 216 minus two, which equals 214. Let's write out the answer. We now know that 72 student tickets and 214 adult tickets were sold. One way that we can check your answer is to make sure that $6 times 72 plus $9 times 214 is equal to $2,358. So our check again is six times the number of student tickets, which is 72, plus nine times 214 is equal to 2,358, the total value of the tickets. Let's check this on the calculator. Notice how six times 72 plus nine times 214 is 2,358. Verifying our answer is correct. 
I hope you found this helpful.